Okay, this is my review of the Sony MHS PM5 Bloggy from 2010. This is uh, my favorite Bloggy ever. And the reason it's my favorite is because the swivel lens can move around. And this does take SD cards. And it's so easy to charge. You just plug this in your laptop or like a power outlet that has a USB slot and it charges good and the battery is removable so if you have like three of them like I do have then all the batteries are compatible this takes 1080 30p video 30p means 30 frames a second which is not the best but this does have 720 60p mode which is 60 60p is 60 frames a second and that's good for fast motion and as you can see this is about the same size as an iPod touch 4G let me plug this back in the nice little doors are nice to have too I bought this one like uh, it was on my list of paper I got August 4th 2012 I bought the white one for $40 from a lady online I believe yeah $40 and that's a really good deal. I would not pay more than 40 for one of these, but I have. But if you can find one for 40 or less, and these are really good. I mean, if you want to pay more, then that's still worth it if you want to spend the money. But I love these things. That's why I got three of them. I also have three of the CM5s, which is the same exact thing about video quality, but they're shaped different. But they're also from 2010. And that's today's date, of course. And look, if you have an iPod Touch, then you can see these are pretty much the same size. From 2010, that's pretty amazing. These are five years old, but they're still amazing. And they, the sound is only mono. It's not stereo, but it's still cool. And I'm going to show you the slots. See, this is where the battery goes in. It's always good to have a removable battery because... If you have a battery that you cannot remove and it goes dead, you have to charge the whole thing. But if you're like me and you got like two of these, actually, I do have, since I do got three of the CM5s, which take the same battery, then all these are compatible with the batteries. So I basically have six batteries that are compatible. But I'm not trying to brag. I'm just really thankful that God has helped me out with all this. And actually, I do have another battery that will work, the PM1 from 2009. This battery will work, too, if I took it out. And uh, these are really cool. All the batteries are compatible. You do not want to use this as a main camera, but if you have to, I mean, it's not the worst. Just don't shake it around too much. But this is how you take the battery out. You can charge it with the USB. Built-in USB is the easiest way to charge it, or you can use this. The reason you know this will work is because it has the K logo and these are K batteries by Sony. Yeah, right there you can see the K logo on this. You just plug this in the wall and it'll charge it up and the light comes on. When the light changes a different color, you know it's fully charged and that's really cool. But if you don't want to take it out all the time, you can just put it in there and there is also the SD card slot. It takes SD cards, which is really good because unfortunately the PM1 from 2009 is a year older than this one it only takes memory stick duo cards it don't even have a 60p mode for 60 frames a second but the PM5 that I'm holding on the left the white one is the improved version which is really cool and uh, just want to show you that the batteries these take the same kind of battery so that's really cool to know too so if you ever had to upgrade these to this version your old battery from your other version would work too which is very convenient this one was forty dollars it still works I've had it almost three years made a lot of videos these are my favorite because look you can go somewhere if you like you can go somewhere and just point it this way and you can see you don't have to hold a big camera and people won't really it won't really draw attention to you and um, I mean this is good anyway because it's handheld that it fits in your pocket you pull it out make a video anywhere you want the worst part is that it's not stereo sound but the sound ain't that bad this is my favorite bloggy Sony's ever made 
The reason it's the video quality is not better than the newer versions, but I like this one because it does have an SD card slot. And on any video camera you have, you definitely want to have an SD card slot. So just in case like your camera got wet or you dropped it and it broke, then you can just take out your SD card and continue on with your life. If it's built in memory only, then something happens, then your stuff is going to be stuck on the camera with the built in memory. That's why I prefer memory card slots. These CM5s, they do the exact same thing pretty much. Yeah, except this one has, I think, more optical zoom. And uh, But these are came out in 2010. These are just a different version, like different different shape but they're they, they do they do the exact same thing which is really cool and they take the same kind of battery and that's really cool too even though that shouldn't be a big deal because you don't want to use this as your main camera but if you want to make videos for fun then this would be a cool one to use and it's really amazing i'll never forget about it ever and uh this one right here i got for let me look at my list this one was $50. I got it September 13th, 2013 for the $50 from a guy online. He didn't want to go any lower in the price, but since it worked really good and it's, it was not in bad condition, I went ahead and bought it. All of these do work, just to let you know that. I'm surprised they're charged up, but I mean, that's cool. The coolest thing about these, besides their nice compact size, is that the swivel lens can move around so you can record like record straight ahead of you, record that way, or record yourself and you'll appear. See, look, there is my hand. This is the violet color. They do have pink for sure, which is would be a collectible. I'd buy a pink one because it's cool to have. And they also have like a light blue color. And they got violet and then white. I don't know if there's any other colors. I do know the PM1 and CM1 have gray and orange. Like, there's a gray version and a purple version of this one too. And the other one you just seen, there's gray and orange. This one's probably the best looking one because it's a nice shiny violet color. I liked white when I got it because I was excited because... You know, you don't really find a white video camera that often. I never really planned to use this that much, so I left the screen protector on. And that was cool. Okay, let's show you this one. This is my newest one. I bought it last year. I had to travel a long way to get it. Like an hour away. I do have a YouTube video on my Zach TV 18 channel of me traveling to buy this. And I got it like, let me look at my list. Let's see, I bought it July 29th, 2014 for just $40, and it came with a 16 gigabyte memory stick duo card, which is very good. Like a 16 gigabyte card is like $60 brand new. An 8 gigabyte memory stick duo that you'd see at Walmart today is like $35, and that's a ripoff, but Sony decided to do that. Okay, let me show you some of the menus, and then... uh. Okay, this is for photos. You could take five megapixel pictures. It'll be full screen. I guess that might be widescreen right there for four megapixel. For video, you get 1080 30p, 720 60p, and you see the resolution for each of them. 60p is my favorite because it's like for fast motion, 60 frames a second. 30 frames a second is okay. They do make 4K video cameras that are only 30 frames a second. I'm kind of disappointed in that. They have Right now they have the AX100 and AX33, which is a new one. They do have an AX1 that does have 60 frames a second, but it's a professional size. This is a 72030p, and they do have VGA 30p, which is what I like to use a lot because if you hold the camera just right, you're not going to notice the difference in the video quality that much. And you get a lot more time in VGA mode. That's why it's awesome to use. There is steady shot mode, face detection. Here's probably some more menus. Haven't been on these in a while, so I don't really know what they are. Yeah, there's that. I'm not going to read them all off, but you pretty much know what they're going to do. You got to be careful with format because you'll erase your 
uh, memory card that if you click on format that's for any device the dates wrong on that today is actually February 11th 2015 and I'm making this video using the CX 560 Handycam and I'm using the Taxstar shotgun mic this thing is stereo sound so that's really good and it's like an interview microphone thing that's the exact brand that it is now you can hear my voice a little better it's just $33 on Amazon which is a very good deal they do charge like $200 for pretty much the same quality microphone shotgun mic $200 or you could buy a $33 one which works fine these are the menus let me pretty much think that's all of them and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the menus for that to uh, turn this on or off you just do that and it opens and closes which is really cool I never took the stickers off this one because I don't really plan on using it so I thought it would be cool to leave them on these stickers have been on here like five years and that's pretty awesome to know these are like I guess that's a different language that's like a little bit of advertising for it that's pretty cool to show you because most people would have taken this off after especially after five years but uh, these are really awesome and I do recommend these a lot I wish it did have stereo sound the only pocket camera that I have that has stereo sound is the TX10 and the TX10 is cool this is from like 2011 I believe trying to get this to focus in okay TX10 the reason this is good is because it's waterproof and stereo sound and it's really high definition good high definition video just to let you know um, I do have like uh, let me find the other one let me stop the video for one second okay because God has been really good to me I do have like three of the ZX3 cameras these are from 2010 they're waterproof they don't have stereo sound but they do have removable batteries and SD card slots you always want to have SD card slot because you're guaranteed to not lose your video if like the camera breaks I do have a ZX5 which is supposed to be better I have reviews of these on my channel if you're curious about them and um uh, well, this review is about this PM5. This thing is awesome. Only thing I don't like about it is it does not have stereo sound. Other than that, it's perfect. And this is the power button right here. You turn it on with that. There's a little zoom switch. Let me get this to focus in. Got to tap the screen on my CX360 to get it to focus in on whatever I'm trying to do. It's a nice little zoom switch, which is really cool to use forgot to show you this it's audio visual out there's not a HDMI port I do not think anyway no but it's not a huge deal as long as the video quality is good that's all that really matters but that's really cool you charge it with that and that's really awesome let me show you one more thing that you might be interested in let me find it okay here it is if you're if you want to be cool and you can use these things this will keep your video a lot more steady which is very important like any video if you ever want to make videos of anything no matter what camera you use you definitely want to have steady video that's you can use a tripod or just try not to shake your camera that much that's pretty much how you can make the video if you look at this this is supposed to be I think a, maybe a three inch screen or two and a half inch 2.7 inch only thing bad is you only get half the screen to record with but that's still not too bad I do have a Sunpack light this will actually go on there too if you wanted to you could just screw it on there these are $30 at Walmart and it takes three AAA batteries they're rechargeable batteries so I'm doing the right thing by being smart these video brackets are only about $20 at Best Buy that's which is a really good deal and you can add more stuff onto it see that's really cool to do I'm going to put some test videos at the end of this so you can see how the video quality looks. I try to put test videos on every 
video camera review so you can see just to let you know though like YouTube sometimes make the video quality look better sometimes it can make it look compressed and worse but just want to let you know that and this is my review I hope you enjoyed it man this thing is cool I want to buy some more of these on Amazon the pink ones like $80 I mean I might buy it one day but the ones I've seen they're scratched up I'd rather have it looking new if I'm gonna spend that much brand new these would have been $200 in 2010 these things are awesome though I'm really glad I've finally made a review of this I try to make these reviews in like a certain order of the camera models you know but uh, this is the end of the review I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna show you some test videos thank you so much for watching this and I really appreciate it and here are the test videos it was before he plugged it up. You wanted 40 for it? Yeah. Right, he me... never really used it at all, to be honest with you. I got it for him when he went to Korea and for him to take pictures and record stuff, and he didn't do a darn thing. <laughs> March 3rd, 2013, um, Sunday, getting gas, then taking Michaela to work, and uh, this is a Sony MHS PM5, that's how much we got, here we go, we're headed to work right now. We are at Robin's apartment, today is, um, uh, uh, March 17th, 2013, um, uh, Sunday. This is a Sony MHS PM5 bloggy video camera, 72030p mode. This is Michaela on the Sony MHS PM5. This is Michaela, it's 72030p mode. Um, it's high definition, but it ain't like the best ever but it's good enough the window is dirty so it probably don't look as good this is 4x 4 optical zoom zoomed in 4x today is March today is March 22nd 2013 Friday hopefully tonight is fun we're about to go to Walmart she's checking us oh, oh, I'm narrating she's, ach, she's, ach. she's checking to see how much money she has in the bank um this is the Sony MHS PM5. I bought this for $40. Here she comes. Let's stop the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now. We all believe in Zach. Zach is good! He's gonna be the best director in the world. Get head anytime he wants. I'll have all his Playboy girls all over him. Get head anytime he wants. I have all his Playboy girls all over him. Zach is good! He's gonna be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. He's gonna be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. 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 He's gonna be the best director in the world.